could have ever heard. <laughs> hey. You ever heard of the, the, the old legend? Boy, what's the map's name? Have you ever heard of the legend? Poison Island. I got my nice, I got myself a nice cup of tea. You know he did. Honestly, I really don't know what that was. He's a potato potato man. No. Giving me famous property flashbacks. We haven't seen that video. Isn't he the guy created the demon? Prologue. Small things bring considerable excitement excitement to small villages. Let's read the main guy. I'm already scared. Please help me. Explore the forest and find the villages. Strange villages. Explore the forest and find the strange villages house. Chapter two is uh, so, okay. So these are just yeah. Wait, is the oh there is. That is the reason. Okay, I'm gonna read from the start. Small things bring considerable excitement to small villages. That is the reason why people have been taking Bruh. for weeks to about the store. I can't read. That is the reason why people have been talking for weeks about the stories of the many bodies swept away by a river of raw sewage, horrible slashed, horribly slashed in pieces mangled by traps and dissected without leaving blood stains blood stains but one man took no interest at all in these stories he was by nature reserved and lonely the smiling man he is in truth a very strange villager believed to have been a very expert hunter and skillful tamer and they are those who say that he is a very feared necromancer now raising the dead this villager dwells all alone in a very ancient house inside a forest and is reputed to be both exceedingly rich and exceedingly source suspicious those have entered in the properties of the pertupus those who have entered the properties in the properties. Those who have entered the hit the I can't read man. Those who have entered in the properties of the peculiar villager never came back. If you get lost in the woods, stay away from the smiling man. Who knows if he could be interested with you? Now I'm a guy with not many friends. What was the, I heard something? Alright. We are going. Now, I'm not a guy with many friends. But that doesn't look like one of my friends. Okay, my man is dead. He put in the compost. Good for the plants, but not good for your mind. I see how my expert. An expert at exiting to find a way back that is okay. Bruh. Sometimes just my brasa. Since sometimes he not my brasa. More beetroot soup. Emerald boots. Hey, got the emerald boots. Okay, guys, I don't know where to go right now. So let's just end the video. Bye. I can't say I'm a man. Gucci emerald boats. This is so much just.
has to ask for peace in this, this the key. I really don't want to use this key on a mansion door. Trust this man, Grumus over here, mm. Frankenstein looking. Never, I, I see mm. nothing to you.
my heart. Yes. Time to go into reader mode. Dear unknown reader, my name is Victor. Victor. Biker. Biking on the mountains. And I've been held by Babel the Behemoth. The bubble. Bubble the Behemoth. For over 20 years. Is that his name? Bubble the Behemoth. But. I thought it'd take years to escape from here. But I did it once in less than one day. Now I'm here on things. Just in one day, that's all it takes really, concentration and pace and pace. Oh, Bubble loves hunting. And he can be un as unpredictable as smart, to be honest. The fundamental escape objectives are on the following pages. The boiler room e is the only exit underneath the facilities. There is a path to the sewers. You must hold back the flue gas to cause an explosion. It's necessary to open six valves before switch on the main v <laughs> torture chain. Yeah, I activated two of these. I know that. Now the laboratory and the engine room. Turn around and die. What? what? How did this man? This I thought I was taking damage from the electric chair, but this man. Spawn behind me and slash my back. Alright guys, that will be it for part one of poison. I hate this map. It is <sighs> can't believe my brother. So guys, I hope you enjoyed part one. That was definitely one of the scariest moments of my life. I do not like harder things. I may be that dude, but I walk down the street, not caring about anyone. But a villager in the game can make me tremble in fear and disappointment. So guys, I hope you enjoyed part one. Leave a like if you enjoyed part one. Subscribe if you enjoyed part one. Part one. Hopefully there will be a part two. Uh, I hate doing this. Either way, I'll see you guys later. Thank you.